The James Webb Space Telescope has captured something truly astonishing. Lights that seem to emanate from what looks like a city shining from a distant point four light years away. This discovery has reignited interest in the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The telescope focused its gaze on Proxima Centauri b, the closest exoplanet to our solar system, and detected mysterious bright flashes. Could these be signs of an alien civilization? Stay tuned for more. For a long time, scientists and ordinary people alike have eagerly imagined what life beyond our planet might be like. Any scientific evidence suggesting the existence of life elsewhere has always been met with great excitement. Then came a turning point when the James Webb Space Telescope delivered intriguing indications of something remarkable on Proxima Centauri b. While scanning the depths of space, this powerful telescope observed lights resembling those from a distant city, raising the possibility that an extraterrestrial civilization might exist on that faraway planet. This idea has sparked curiosity and enthusiasm among scientists, as it could be the breakthrough discovery many have been waiting for. It suggests there could be intelligent beings beyond our current understanding, organizing societies in ways we are only beginning to grasp. Looking at these city-like lights located an incredible four light years away, NASA engineers are amazed and wonder how long they may have been visible in space, waiting for our technology to evolve enough to detect them. David Kipping, an astronomer at Columbia University, described Proxima Centauri b as a particularly complex planet. Unlike most rocky planets that absorb sunlight and emit energy primarily in infrared, this exoplanet behaves differently due to its unique relationship with its parent star, Proxima Centauri. This discovery highlights the importance of the James Webb Telescope. Its ability to capture infrared wavelengths was instrumental in detecting the unusual behavior of Proxima b, which is crucial for understanding the planet's atmospheric conditions. Researchers plan to continue using the telescope to explore the atmosphere of Proxima b in greater detail, investigating whether it might be habitable. The James Webb Telescope's sensitivity to infrared light allows it to observe what happens on Proxima Centauri b at night. Detecting faint light in the vast darkness of space is challenging for most telescopes, but the James Webb is able to pick up even the slightest glimmers. This makes it an ideal tool for confirming whether the supposed city lights on the dark side of Proxima b are real. The telescope can detect artificial light in space if it falls within a very narrow frequency band, much narrower than the light emitted by normal stars. Proxima Centauri b has a dynamic relationship with its star. Its tidally locked side captures the star's intense energy, reflecting a unique spectrum of light. As the planet revolves around Proxima Centauri, it experiences day and night cycles somewhat similar to Earth's, with intense heat during the day and cooler temperatures at night. However, Proxima b undergoes larger temperature variations influenced by its composition. For example, if it lacks a substantial atmosphere, temperature differences between day and night would be extreme. Without the moderating effect of atmospheric gases or oceans, the day side would become scorching hot, while the night side would plummet to sub-zero temperatures. These dramatic thermal variations are of great interest to astronomers, as they offer clues about the planet's atmospheric makeup. With its unique infrared imaging capability, the James Webb Telescope can analyze Proxima b's thermal emissions, providing valuable data about its atmosphere. Interestingly, the telescope's orbit around Earth coincides with Proxima b's orbital period, allowing detailed observations of the planet's daylight cycles every 11.2 Earth days. If Proxima b does have an atmosphere, the next step will be to examine its chemical composition to determine its potential to support life. Scientists will look for signs such as oxygen, water vapor, and methane, which are indicators of habitable conditions. Detecting these elements would confirm the planet's potential for life. This involves analyzing the light passing through Proxima b's atmosphere, a complex but critical task. While the James Webb Telescope excels at characterizing planetary atmospheres, it was primarily designed for other scientific goals. It specializes in detecting variations in water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane. Although it has limitations in detecting free oxygen, a crucial sign of life, it can search for other important molecules like ozone, which suggests a healthy atmosphere. 
As scientists examine data from the James Webb Telescope, the search for distant worlds continues, bringing us closer to answering whether we are alone in the universe. It's important to remember that the James Webb can observe only a limited number of exoplanets close to Earth. For more detailed atmospheric studies, astronomers will rely on ground-based observatories, such as the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, which is expected to begin operations in 2028. The ELT will offer deeper insight into the atmospheric structures of distant exoplanets, providing clearer and more detailed data on their potential to harbor life. Scientists are also excited about future space telescopes designed to improve our ability to study exoplanets. One major challenge is reducing the glare from stars to better observe the faint light reflected by orbiting planets. To overcome this, researchers are developing innovative technologies like coronagraphs, devices inside telescopes designed to block out starlight while letting in the light from planets. By carefully shaping light waves, coronagraphs can significantly reduce the star's glare, making it easier to detect the faint glow of exoplanets. Another promising technology is the Starshade, a giant flower-shaped spacecraft that flies in formation with a telescope. Positioned tens of thousands of kilometers away, the Starshade blocks starlight before it even enters the telescope, allowing only the light from planets to reach the instruments. This method could be particularly effective for observing planets in their star's habitable zones, regions where liquid water and potentially life might exist. These technologies require extraordinary precision. For example, the starshade's alignment needs to be perfect down to fractions of a millimeter across vast distances. Additionally, space missions must address challenges like miniaturization, energy efficiency, and surviving harsh space conditions. Despite these obstacles, the potential rewards are immense. Successfully observing and analyzing exoplanet atmospheres could lead to detecting biosignatures, chemical indicators of life such as oxygen, methane, or water vapor in specific ratios. These molecules could hint at biological processes, suggesting that life exists beyond Earth. Researchers are also exploring ways to directly image distant worlds in greater detail. Future telescopes may feature advanced adaptive optics that correct for distortions caused by Earth's atmosphere or telescope movements, producing sharper images. Combined with star-blocking technologies, these advances could allow scientists not only to detect exoplanets but also to map their surfaces and study their climates. The development of next-generation space telescopes represents a major leap forward in humanity's quest to answer one of our most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? By refining our ability to observe distant planets, we move closer to discovering whether life exists beyond Earth, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of our place in the cosmos. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.